Okay, in in the last session, we have saw that like we used e case. So basically, what is e case and how does it relate to Kubernetes deployment in AWS? Okay, uh, previously I was just keep saying cluster, cluster. So if you don't already know what cluster is, best cluster is basically, uh, there are multiple nodes which are basically servers and those are already connected to a single point. And that is control panel. And EKS is simply that, but we, we can uh, build our control panel on our own, but it is a lengthy process and you need to know advanced uh, stuff about the Kubernetes to deploy a uh, Kubernetes manually, I create the control panel and everything, but to uh, there are some uh, issue with that, like uh, if there is issue with the control panel, we have to fix that uh, ourselves and there might be some issue with upgrading and everything. And upgrading a container is quite a hassle and there are chances of uh, not compatibility with our application. So. EKS is a cluster or Kubernetes cluster that are managed by Amazon. And as it sounds, the EKS is Elastic Kubernetes Service and it manages by Amazon. And it's uh, quite uh, easy to create a cluster with the help of EKS. And we can, within simple uh, few command, we can create the cluster. And good thing about the EKS is it will be managed totally by Amazon. Like if we want to version, uh, upgrade the version uh, or anything, Amazon will do everything. And if we want to, uh, let's say we want to add some add-ons, so Amazon will add those for us. Like we can just simply create a, or add a simple line on our eml file and it will create all the add-ons but if we do that manually we have to undergo four or five steps to just simply installing a specific add-ons so it saves our time a lot and uh, a normal uh, little uh, a little bit knowledge uh, technical knowledge person can uh, simply create the cluster without any issue mm -hmm. yeah thank you okay